EA Games. Challenge everything. has escaped from the wizard prison, Azkaban. No one's ever broken out before. Twelve years ago, Black murdered 13 people with a single curse. Well, at least we'll be safe at Hogwarts. What's wrong, Harry? Ron, I overheard your dad talking about Sirius Black last night. The Ministry of Magic thinks he's after me. Black's escaped to come after you? Oh, Harry, you'll have to be really, really careful. Don't go looking for trouble. I don't go looking for trouble. Trouble usually finds me. But they'll catch him, won't they? I mean, they've got all the muggles looking out for him too. Scabbers, come back! Can't you keep that monster under control? Calm down, Ron. You don't want to wake Professor Lupin. <laughs> don't worry, Ron. We'll help you find Scabbers. Scabbers could have gone anywhere. Crookshanks doesn't understand that it's wrong there to chase goes. Scabbers. You can cast Alahamora to open that door, Harry. Hold down the left mouse button to activate your wand. Keep holding while you move the mouse to aim your wand. That's it! Alahamora! Let go of the mouse button and you'll cast a spell. There he is! over this luggage, Harry. We just need to walk up to it and we'll be able to start climbing. To climb over small boxes like this, you just have to walk up to them, Harry. We'll have to jump up to climb over those crates. Right then, you lead the way. Walk forward towards the crates and click the right mouse button to jump. Let's pick up these party boss beans. Fred and George will trade some wicked stuff for them in their shop. Hmm. I suppose we'll have to push this thing out of the way. Or one of us could cast a pulso. Depulso! Nice one, Riley. A lot of right. chest. Now where's that There's rat? Use Alahamora. Like these. Cast Alahamora to open it, Hermione. to join in. We 
kid. A chocolate frog. This will help us, but I'm not so sure about this carriage. <sighs> What's in those cages? We're definitely not supposed to be in here. We can't leave scabbers, can we? Come on, follow me. Well, look who it is. Hottie and the weasel. I should have known the better excuse for a rat had something to do with you. Break home, Malfoy. So they put you in the creature's carriage, did they? Probably the only place you could find a friend. Actually, I do have a rather interesting friend I'd like to meet. Everyone play nicely now. Oh, no. What's that monstrous looking book? Actually, I believe it's a copy of the Monster Book of Monsters. Pass the pages. We'll knock them out of the air, Harry. You finish the book. Rick the Zebra. 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 Rick well done! Is it okay to scream now? Ron, you really do need to work on the accuracy of your spell casting. A wizard can't. I love collecting these. If we search around enough of Hogwarts, we could find all 80 collector's cards. We can look inside the Folio Universitas after picking up a collector's card. Scabbers. Press the escape key and click on the picture of the card at the top of the You've screen. You've given us a lot of trouble, you useless rat. Come on, let's get back to our compartment before we're missed. Serious black under our cloaks. Go! Harry! Are you alright? Yeah. What happened? What was that thing? The Dementor. One of the Dementors of Azkaban. We better head back. We'll be at Hogwarts in a few minutes. Are you sure you're all right, Harry? Fine. I'm fine. Harry, Ron and Hermione were delighted to be back at Hogwarts. Harry's encounter with the Dementor had caused him no serious harm other than a growing feeling of dread. The three friends hurried to their first class of the term, anxious to resume their lessons. I'm Professor Lupin, your new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Our first lesson involves the spell Carpe Retractum. Ron Weasley, would you please join me? Um, me? Are you sure? Uh, Hermione's loads better at spells. 
You'll do fine, Ron. Just step through this door to begin. Hello? P Professor Lupin? Welcome to the Carpe Retractum Challenge, Ron. There are ten challenge shields scattered throughout the challenge. Some are well hidden. Find all ten shields to earn a visit to the Beam Bonus Room. If you don't find all the shields your first time through, you can always come back. Complete the challenge by collecting the final shield. Let's get started. Carpe Retractum has two primary uses. To pull yourself towards something, or to pull something towards you. See if you can find a statue to cast the spell at. Then, watch what happens. Carpe retracting! Carpe retracting! Excellent. You can also use Carpe Retractum to pull certain levers. See if you can find one on a wall. Carpe Retractum! A spongify tile! I think I remember how to use these. Um... Or maybe not. First, cast Spongify on the tile. Spongify! Now, leap onto the tile to spring into the air. Remember, click the right mouse button to jump. Carpe Retractum can also be used to pull things towards you. See if you can find something to cast at. Then climb up onto it. Carpe Retractum! You can jump over pits like this one, Ron. Hold down the forward arrow key to run towards it. When you get to the edge, continue holding the arrow key and press the right mouse button to jump. Carpe Retractum can also be used on certain ropes. Now give it a go. Carpe Retractum! Carpe Retractum! Professor Lupin, that thing doesn't look very friendly. That is an Impron. Beware. It might throw exploding wizard crackers. Spells may not be effective in this situation. Try not to let the wizard crackers touch you while they're in the air. When they land, you can pick them up. But be careful. If you're not quick enough, the crackers will explode. Go ahead, Bob. See if you can pick up a wizard cracker and throw it back at the air. Perfect, Ron. Now let's put your training to the test. To the test? Splendid, Ron. All right! Pumpkin pasties! These are worth a lot more than the Oh no! I hope that noise isn't what I think it is. I'll bet they're worth loads more than the being son in George's shop. The pop song! The pop song! The pop song! Hello, Mario! Look at my 
sure about this. Careful. It can shoot fire out of its, um, well, out of its backside. Cast Rictus Empra to knock it over. Then cast again as needed to knock the fire grab into the trap. Rictus Empra! Rictus Empra! Rictus Empra! Please tell me that's the way out! Oh! <sighs> 
drop a retractor! Carpe retractor! Carpe retractor! Carpe retractor! Carpe retractor! find all of the challenge shields. You'll need all ten to unlock the beam bonus room. So, come back anytime you want to give the challenge another go. That was fantastic! Um, where are we? These doors will let us back into any spell challenge we've completed. We can have another go at the carpet retractum challenge if you like, Ron. Or we could go exploring. You lead the way, Ron. Look, I think we've come out in the side chamber. I've heard about this room. These portraits provide shortcuts to every floor in the castle. I wonder how we can get the passwords. Harry Potter. 
Just the person I was looking for. Hello, Fred. Where's George? Upstairs, minding the shop. Early Christmas present for you, Harry. It's the Marauder's Map. It'll help you find your way around Hogwarts. Wow! Thanks, Fred. You can press the tab key on your keyboard to bring up this map at any time. Come on, follow me upstairs. I'll lead you to the shop. Glad to see you're feeling better, Harry. Thanks, Professor. You're probably aware the Dementors of Azkaban are here at Hogwarts on Ministry of Magic business. I'll bet Sirius Black steers well clear of Hogwarts with those Dementors lurking about. Come on, lads. George is waiting at the shop. Follow me. something. Wonder what that's all about. Hello, Harry. Welcome to our shop. Wow, look at all this stuff. Just walk up to any item that takes your fancy. We'll tell you what's what and how much it costs. Hmm, afraid you don't have enough pumpkin pasties to buy that. Oh, Harry. Aren't you terrified? Serious- Absolutely the best chocolate for restoring stamina. Yeah, I'll take it. Looks like you don't have enough Bertie Bot's beans to buy that, Harry. Oh ho! Now there's a very special, absolutely the best chocolate for restoring stamina. You've got a deal. Come again anytime, Harry. <gasps> oh no, Peeves! Ho ho ho, poor Potty and Weasel. They've got no passwords, so they can't use the portrait shorty cats. Oh, look at this! I've got the passwords right here! Come on, Ron. We can get that paper. Right. Let's cast together and teach that pest of a poltergeist a lesson. Catch the silver! That's the stuff, Ron! Rick the Oh dear weasel, you haven't seen the last of me! We got the passwords! Come on, let's give it a go! They only work on the portraits with the floor numbers at the top, right? I think so. This should get us back to the side chamber. Star Shark. It's time for Care of Magical Creatures class. And Hagrid's teaching this year. Oh. Do either of you know where we're supposed to go? I think the class is down at the paddock. Off to Care of Magical Creatures, are you? So am I. That's great, Neville. We'll go together. Come on, follow me. The 
boss is down at the paddock. This way. Wait for us. I suppose we ought to get onto class soon. Care of magical creatures class is just through that gate. Ah! No! Um, and that must be a pixie infestation. Um. When you three have finished dealing with the Pixies, Care of Magical Creatures class is this way. It's up to you, Harry. We can explore for a bit, or follow Neville to class. Station on our hands. What can we do to help? Just cast at the well to stir up the swarm. You'll have to work together to get rid of them. If you don't get all of the pixies on the first try, you can try again as often as you want. You'll earn a collector's card each time you can beat the swarm. If you can drive off every last pixie in the well, you'll earn all five cards in the set. But that's no easy feat. said we'd win all five cards in the set if we could drive all the pixies away for good. Rick the Sandra! 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 Rick the Sandra!
broadcasting, you two! Fantastic! doesn't expect us to touch it. Disgusting creature. <laughs> Welcome to Care of Magical Creatures class. I'll be teaching you this turn. I'd like to introduce you to Buckbeak. He's a hippogriff. Today, you'll be learning how to ride him. You first, Harry. Just walk up to Beaky and give him a bow. You won't catch me bowing to that filthy beast. Hello, Buckbeak. There's a good hip of you. Your goal is to fly through enough bats to beat the top number on the counter. As soon as you're ready, just click the right mouse button to make Beaky fly.
There's a good fellow. A collector's card. That was really well done, Harry. Come back to the paddock any time you want another go. There's five courses to fly in all. And you can win a collector's card on each of them. I bet you're not dangerous at all, are you, you great ugly brute? <laughs> I'm dying! Look at me! It's killed me! You're not dying. Do you think you'll be all right? Of course. Madam Palfrey can make cuts in about a second. You can bet Malfoy will make something out of this. Harry was very concerned about Hagrid, and with Malfoy playing up his injury, he was worried about Buckbeak too. Where'd Hermione go anyway? It's nearly time for Transfiguration class. Um, you two ready for class? Are you all right? What's happened? I'm just a bit tired, that's all. We'd better get up to the first floor, or we'll be late for Transfiguration. We could take the first floor portrait shortcut. Or go round by the stairs. You lead the way, Harry. Right. First floor, Transfiguration class. Haddon. It's Weasel, Grunge and Potty. Peeves. I don't like the look of that armour. He's locked us in! I bet we could beat him if we all cast at once. Ron, get ready to use your Carpe Retractum spell when we've worn him down. Oh, goody. Three Ickle Playmates. <laughs> when you're scared half to death. We'd better get on to Transfiguration class. Peeves has probably made us late. Hello, and welcome to Transfiguration class. One of the most advanced Transfiguration spells enables a wizard to become an Animagus. Animagi can transform themselves into animals and then back into people. For example, Are there any questions? Professor McGonagall, are werewolves animagi? No, they're not. Animagi turn into animals at will. A werewolf cannot control its transformation. Now for today's lesson, the Draconifers and Lepifors spells. Miss Granger, perhaps you'd grace the class by having a go at the exercise I've prepared. Me? Oh, yes! If you'll just step through this door, then... Let's begin with the Lapifor spell, Miss Granger. Right. Lapifors. The transformation of a small object into a rabbit. Correct, Miss Granger. Five house points for Gryffindor. 
cast lapifores on the rabbit statue. You will then be able to control the transfigured rabbit. Use the arrow keys to move the rabbit in the desired direction. The right mouse button will make the rabbit hop. Push the forward arrow key and hold down the right mouse button for the longest jumps. Press the enter key any time you wish to stop the spell. Or simply complete the task at hand with the rabbit and the spell will stop on its own. You will find rabbit holes throughout the challenge, Miss Granger. If a hole is blocked by grass, click the left mouse button to make the rabbit chew through the vegetation. Got it! Press the left mouse button to chew through the grass. Well done. Now, take note of the mound of earth. Position the rabbit on top of the dirt and press the left mouse button to begin digging. Right. Use the left mouse button to chew or dig. Splendid, Miss Granger.
Now let's move on to the Draconifor spell. Cast on the dragon statue, Miss Granger, to transform it into a living creature. Draconifors! Oh, brilliant! Now, listen closely. To proceed, you will need to use the dragon to get the fireball pick up. Then fly up and land on a platform. Finally, you must light the torch to complete this part of the challenge. Off you go, Miss Granger. Click the spacebar to make the dragon fly. Use the arrow keys to make it turn. Click the left mouse button to make the dragon breathe fire. Once he's grabbed a fireball pickup, the dragon will produce one blast of flames for each pickup. Thank <laughs> you. 